In this video, we're going to be creating the reverse foot bones. This will make possible for us to animate a foot roll as well as a toll roll. First, we're going to start by grabbing the ankle chain and duplicating it. So we're going to grab bind L ankle 01, bind L foot 01, and B E L toe 01. Press Ctrl D and Shift P to unparent. Now we're going to go ahead and rename each of these joints GDVR for joint driver. Remove bind and now let's do GDVR. Now we're going to reverse the hierarchy for the chain so that the ball of the foot drives the ankle. First we're going to grab the parent joint, which in this case will be GDVRL toe 01. And you're going to click and middle mouse drag it all the way to the top of the chain. We then we'll rearrange the order for the foot and finally the ankle. Then we're going to grab the child, shift select the parent, and hit P. I'm going to repeat one more time. We're going to select the child. In this case, it's going to be GDVR foot, and shift select the toe, just like so. Now let's select all the newly created joints and increase the radius so that we can tell them apart. I'm going to go with about a three. Lastly, let's select the toe reverse joint and let's go into skeleton mirror joint. Hit mirror. Now we're going to go ahead and constrain the IK handle to our newly created joints. First, we're going to grab the reverse ankle joint. Now we're going to select the IK handle and now we'll create a constraint point constraint and let's click on the option box, reset the tools and make sure the maintain offset in this one is completely off. Click add. Now we're going to grab the reverse foot joint and we're going to select the ankle joint. So control select bind L ankle. Let's go to constraint. Let's do an orient constraint here, option box. It makes sure now maintain offset is on. Hit add. Let's repeat this process one more time. Let's grab the reverse toe joint. And now we're going to select the bind foot joint again. And let's repeat constraint orient. Now let's test it out. Grab the reverse foot and you would see a nice foot roll. Grab the reverse toe and you will see a nice toe roll. Great. Now we're going to repeat the same process to the other side. Let's grab the reverse ankle joint and select the IK for the right leg. Let's create a point constraint. Select the reverse foot joint, then select the bind ankle joint for the right foot. Let's now create an orient constraint. Lastly, let's select the reverse toe joint for the right side, and we're going to bind it to the foot joint. Constraint and orient. Once done, Test it out. All right, and here we go. After you have tested your foot roll and your toe roll, know that these behaviors will allow for more precise animation. Up next, we will be creating the controls for our rig.